Welcome back to Crafts of Newt. Today, the day has finally come that I am going to unbox the second Mood Mystery box. This box has now traveled a bit and I bought it last year with the intention of filming a video. It got really busy and it even moved houses with us. It's actually labeled as fabric and like retaped shut. But I haven't actually looked to see what's in it yet. I've been saving it for a video. And so I'm finally back from my Scotland trip and then got really busy immediately after. We got engaged in Scotland and so we were doing uh, wedding planning stuff as soon as we got back because there's a backlog of weddings due to COVID and everything. And so this is going to be like my first video back, especially because I want to see if there's any fabric in here that I might use for like an engagement photo dress. Also my birthday's coming up and maybe I'll sew something for my birthday, that kind of thing. I just want to see what we got in here since I've never actually looked. So, here we go. They always give you, I mean, for the $50 this is, it's kind of a lot of fabric. So everything's still in the original packaging. Okay, here is our first fabric. This is a blue and white red gauze. It's actually darker on the inside, that's the wrong side out. Blue and white thread gauze and it's a very summery color actually, you can see the pattern there. And it's it's not very soft, um, it's very see-through, but uh, the blue threads are fuzzy and thick. So I think it's a gauze, something like that at least. And not stretchy at all. So it's pretty cool for summer vibes. Oh, the next thing I got is actually a pattern. Um, that's cool. It's McCall's 2401. Get a close up there. And it's a dress, a fitted dress. What is their description of it? Semi fitted sheath dresses with various lengths and sleeve options. Fun. And it's actually kind of near my size range 14 through 18. So we'll check that out. I love that they give patterns in this box. Like, how cool is that? Next fabric, this is a, uh, like a matte satin with a white geometric print. There we go, you can see that pretty well. Um, I would say there's probably a yard here of this one. Forget about yardages. <laughs> the other one, probably the same thing about a yard. Yeah, this is a yard, if that, maybe even just a half yard. So, I don't know what I would use this for in that limited quantity. Oh, I was showing you the wrong side. It's shiny on the other side. You can see that really well on camera. I like it though. Blue is one of my favorite colors and it's a dark navy blue. I'm sure that I can use that for something. More gauze. This is a true gauze. Um, very thin and sheer. Kind of like... Was it chartreuse? Pea soup green? That could be used for like an accessory type thing because there isn't a lot here. Like a half quarter yard or so. Oh, there's a lot of this next one. Or it's heavy. One of the two. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's just a knit. It's just a very heavy weight knit. Let me get it open to the right side. It's a very thick, stretchy um, knit with a geometric kind of like diamond flower pattern on it. And probably like a winter weight. Could be good for a t-shirt, honestly. It's got that nice thickness. It's soft still and it's nice and stretchy, but there's a lot. I think probably I would say a good two yards in this this bundle here. Um, so that's a fun one. I like it, the color of the, it's navy blue with that like sagey green. Adding to the pile in front of me. Whoa, bright yellow netting, stretch netting. So this I would probably say I would use for like little pieces of activewear. I know Green Style has a lot of tights options where you can pair some different fabrics together geometrically. And this is the right stretch for some of those small panels. It's very thin though, but definitely a sportswear fabric in bright, bright yellow. And it's kind of like a waffle 
pattern on it. And I would say a yard. All right, next fabric. I'm trying to see what this is. I think it's a suiting material. It definitely is soft and it's a dark charcoal blue. It's kind of hard to tell the color. Kind of shows up black on camera and that's pretty close. Like a dark denim color. It's very nice. I don't know what the material is made out of, but there's a good portion of it here. Maybe a full yard or a yard and a half, depending on the width and stuff. Um, might be good for like a light skirt or something like that. Suit pants, if I or suit shorts in summer. That could be a fun one. <laughs> fun one. So that's an interesting fabric to get. It feels really nice. Oh, and there might be more suiting also next. This is heavy, this fabric. Uh, this is a gray pinstripe, but the pinstripe is pink. This is a lightweight suiting fabric too. Uh, you can see that it's not very heavy and it has stretch to it too. So this might be good for a pair of pants. There's a good portion of it here. I would say maybe a yard and a half or two yards. I don't know if you can see the pink on camera, but yeah, sportswear, suit and wear, lots of cool fabrics in this one. I think it's heavy just because of how much there was, but the fabric itself is pretty light. All right. Oh, I know exactly what this fabric is. This is a crepe back satin in black. I could really use this actually because I play in an orchestra and I keep saying, well, why haven't I made myself a concert black outfit yet? I haven't for some reason. Um, so I could use this for a concert black outfit, either for a blouse top or to try to make a dress. And it's really nice weight. I would say it's like a mid-weight crepe back satin. Um, and how much do we have? Oh yeah, there's at least two yards here. At least two yards. Nice. That's one of the most practical, for me, usabilities is that one. Okay, keep on going. Let's see, I think this is wrong way out. This is a really textured satin in a dark slate gray. It has an almost waffle pattern to it, indents, like pebbles. I don't know if I'll be able to get that on the camera. But yeah, that's a neat one. I have never seen a fabric like this. It's a satin with an indentation, like little squares, like a waffle knit, but definitely no stretch satin. So what a creative mix in these boxes. All right, next fabric. This is a very small piece of chiffon in a paisley pattern with like a pretty turquoisey teal. This is a small piece, I would say a yard at most. That's good for an accent or uh, maybe even a scarf. Teal is my favorite color, so. All right, this is the last fabric. It's another knit. It is a knit that looks like, I think, I would say pink poppies, but then it has gold foil in it as the, as the gold part is all metallic. So that's neat. I love, I have a thing for fabrics that have metallic foil on them. And I like pink. It's an interesting color. It, I'll just see what I would make with this because despite the fact that I like it, it's a little, um, couchish, you know what I mean? Like 70s couchy. But it's a nice, um, it feels like a double brush poly. Nice and stretchy. But all creative choices, like that's pretty cool. I don't think any of them have had labels on them either. Like, you know how sometimes a salvage has a label? But there's a probably a yard and a half. 
maybe just a yard if it was really wide. I don't know, I'm bad at estimating yardages. <laughs> yeah, probably about a yard or two, a yard and a half as I drop it down because this is the selvages in my hands. What do you think? Shirt? Dress? I don't know if I have enough to make a dress. It has to be a shirt. Underwear with gold? Mmm. I like the idea of that. Pajamas. Nice and soft. Summery. Pretty with gold. And I think that's it. So yay. I finally opened the $50 pounds. $50 pounds. The $50 mood mystery box. What a weird, cool collection of fabrics. I don't think anything I'll use for engagement photos, but definitely like that black satin I would love to use for a concert black dress or shirt. And then some other fun stuff here and there that like I can use for small projects and gifts. I hope you enjoyed today. This is my second mood mystery unboxing. Remember to like and subscribe if you like this video and tell me in the comments which fabric was your favorite and what would you do with it. Mm -hmm.